The Chinese capital Beijing has reported 29 new COVID cases and 22 asymptomatic ones, all related to an outbreak that emerged from a bar last week. City health officials say the latest outbreak has come in a fierce momentum and control work is more difficult than last month's resurgent. Uh, for more, let's go live to our reporter Gao An in Beijing. Hello, Gao An. So tell us more details about this latest outbreak and what control measures are in place. Yes, Xia Cheng. So all these cases spread across eight districts in Beijing, including Chaoyang and Xicheng. And all of them, as you just said, were related at a bar in one of the busiest downtown streets in Beijing's Chaoyang district. So these new cases add to the total of over 160 bar-related infections in only four days. That's also part of the reason at yesterday's presser, officials said that this time is more difficult than the previous outbreak uh, in Xinfazi back in 2020 in terms of control and prevention. The official also said that now the top priority is to trace the source of the infection as well as uh, to cut off the transmission chain as soon as possible. And in response to all these, uh, starting from today, the residents in Chaoyang district will have to take the nuclear acid test for three days. And also, uh, despite many could go back to work, uh, some companies are uh, trying to keep those who are working at the office at a rate of 50% or 75%. And while in the public spaces such as restaurants, uh, they are actually having a cap on the customer flow and ask them to show their health code as well as a nuclear acid test result and to check temperature before them enter into the venue. And today also marks the day Beijing's ninth graders are returning to school. But this requirement specifically for those ninth graders who are not involved in any kind of infection. And for those in primary school, middle school, high school, as well as kindergarten, they still have to study online. Xia Cheng. Okay, thank you. Gao Wang for the latest on Beijing's COVID situation.